Hey, what's up friends? It's Moses here. I hope and pray that you are doing well. So one of the things that happens when we are still new, there are mistakes that we make uh, that can be common or sometimes we make them, of course, just because we are just new to uh, to the skill of driving trucks. So what I want to do is look for some videos that we can learn from. And so uh, I just want to go ahead and show you one of the videos that I found. And then we are going to look at it and see if there are things that we can learn from that video. Hopefully some of the things I'll be sharing with you in such videos will be things that can be helpful to you uh, when you are over the road and trying to figure out how to avoid some of the mistakes that we can make in our uh, in, in our early days of the trucking career. Now, I also want to encourage you, if you see a video out there and you think it would be uh, something that we can look at and discuss um, uh, how to learn from it, just send me a link. Again, you can just use my email, Moses at driversuccess.com and then I'll do my best to look at it and see what we can learn from it. For those of you that have a CDL, whether you are just out of uh, CDL school or you have experience, whether you are an own operator, if you think JB Hunt is the right company for you, if you think we are a, uh, JB Hunt is uh, a fit for you, then I, then I encourage you to send me an email, Moses at driversuccess.com with your name, uh, your phone number, your zip code. I will ask Susan to give you a call to see what is available in your area and to see if they can be able, if she can be able to help you get into JB Hunt. If you choose to go to JB Hunt directly via their website or call them, make sure that the first time you talk to somebody, let them know that Moses, give them my alpha code, which is KANM8, referred you. That way they can be able to uh, to know that I referred you. But the best thing to do really is to send me an email. I try to answer those as soon as possible and then Susan will also give you a call as soon as possible. So let's go to the video and see what we can learn from the video. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is to give a shout out to Saje. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But Saje322 is uh, we are using uh, his or her video to to learn so i just want to make sure that i give out a shout to uh, a shout out to him so let me just put it on full screen and we are going to watch it's a very short video but uh the whole idea is to learn from it so let's play it and watch it and then we'll come back and rewatch it All right, as you can see, uh, this driver uh, ended up hitting somebody right here. It also looks like that he almost hit uh, another truck right here. So what we are going to do is we are going to go back and look at it and try and figure out what exactly uh, he could have done different. There are two things that I, uh, I kind of uh, saw that we can learn from. Maybe uh, it can prevent us from making the same mistake. So the very first thing that I want you to watch, um, again, this is mostly for those of you that are new to tracking. Uh, as you can tell right here, the problem is with his tandems. If you look in the back uh, at the tandems right here, you can see that his tandems are all the way to the back. Chances are maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'm guessing that he's used to driving with his tandems in the front. Most of us usually uh, want to drive with our tandems in the front for the most part, unless he has them in the back just because of maybe his weight that he needed them in the back, but he may have forgotten them or I don't know. But the fact that he has his tandems in the back, what that does, it it changes the way you have to think about how you are controlling your truck when you are backing because your pivot area in the back has changed. So uh, the way you are now, your setup is going to be different. How you are turning is going to be different. Uh, the space that you need to be able to turn, especially like for him now that he's backing up, he needs a lot of space in the front right here 
since his pivotal area uh his pivotal point has changed here in the back so the very first problem that i saw is that either he forgot that his tandems are in the back or he wasn't really he, uh, he didn't know how to deal with that change of tandems it's important to always remember that as much as possible if you don't have to have your tandems in the back when uh, when they're done loading you or unloading you make sure you slide those tandems back in the front because sometimes we may go to a, a, a shipper a receiver they want the tandems in the back they we slide them and then we forget to bring them in the front and so whenever we are making turns it will be harder when your tandems are in the back because you need more space again because your uh, your pivot area in the back has changed so that's the first mistake that i see here uh, because based on what I see, again, the camera that captured this may not be giving us uh, the real picture, uh, but just by looking at the distance here, you can tell that things are totally off. My guess is that he's going in this space right here. I can't be really sure about it because there's a, there's a chance he was going in a space somewhere here behind this trailer that we don't see but maybe there's a space now if he was shooting for a space that is even closer by here then he was way way off because for you to get in a space closer by here when your tandems are in the back you'd need to jackknife this trailer in there to get in a space that is closer by here so i'm thinking he was shooting for that space so if he was shooting for anything other than that space then he was totally totally way off because he needed to jackknife this trailer in there which uh, based on where he is he couldn't really do it uh, with these trucks in front here if he was going in the other space right uh, right there it looks to me like he started turning way quicker than he should because he's going way out there this thing has to go you have to go way a little bit closer that side on the other side so that you can be able to get it in there because remember we said you have to always remember that you have to get underneath that trailer so that by the time you are done parking you're gonna be in a straight line like this guy is that means your trailer will be there and your truck will be right underneath your trailer so for you to do that you have to think of how you are going to pivot this truck right and pivot 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 it all the way to that side you need a lot of space based on where these tandems are let's continue playing the video so you can tell right here if he's going that side he has turned so quickly if he's going somewhere here then he almost needs to jackknife this this truck in for him to get anywhere closer than this if he's not going that side if he if he's going that side he is turning so fast before he gets there so that's why i'm thinking that he forgot that his tandems are way in the back instead of being uh, in front here Now, the other important thing that I wanted you to see is how he is looking at him. He is all his focus is on the other side, which is the wrong thing. Anytime you are backing up, you need to learn to keep your head moving. You have to look at all sides as uh, as um, as often as possible. Never let yourself be caught up in just looking at the back because most of the accidents we sometimes get caught up in looking at the back that we forget the front and so in turning you end up hitting the front because all your attention was in the back so you can tell that all his attention is in the back he forgets to check his mirrors you are supposed to check your mirrors and look outside as much as possible and again this starts with when you are setting up when you are setting up you want to make sure that you have an idea of how much space you have the the narrower or the smaller the space the more you have to keep your head moving 
and even get out if you have to. But if um, if you forget to keep your head moving, it's very, very easy. And this goes f for the new drivers and even for us experienced, experienced drivers. If you forget to keep your head moving, somehow you will get yourself into a mess before you know it. So you can tell by looking at him from the time you you look at him you see that he, all his attention is fixated on the other side instead of remembering to look at the front because if he had looked at the front at this point he should have seen that uh he's close to this truck he should have seen that maybe he can see s there's something there he at this point he even needed to come out and look uh because if you if you we are mindful of your space when you are setting up. You should know that you don't have a lot of space. So at this particular uh, time, you want to stop the truck. You want to come out and look and see what you are dealing with uh, at this point. Okay, I don't know if you noticed the other thing before he even hit this. One of the other thing is, uh, I don't know, he was kind of like either on the other side, he's so close to something or he wasn't really controlling his truck well that uh, he's kind of sped up. He wasn't slow. His truck wasn't moving as soft. Again, because either he was trying to be mindful of the other side, but you can tell that he has totally forgotten about this side and because he forgot about the front that's why he ended up hitting this um, this truck right here because uh, as we said at this point right like right here at this point he needed to come out and look so uh, the whole point here is uh, there are two things that I saw that were wrong one are the tandems in the back the tandems in the back as you can see they were all the way to the back the second point is uh, he was so caught up in looking on the other side that he forgot the front of his truck so that's it i hope that video has been able to help you out if you have any questions again just send me an email moses at driversuccess.com i do my best to get to those emails and uh, the comments and reply as soon as I possibly can. Alright friends, until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.